up, everybody? What's happening, family? And welcome back to another episode of Is, is This, this Going to Cause an argument? argument? My name is Angel Tanksley, a.k.a. Angel Lakita Moore, a.k.a. That Chick Angel, That Chick Angel. I'm on steroids for my voice, but they did not put me on vocal rest so I can still sing to my husband. And I'm joined by the man who stays hungry, who never starts the podcast with me. He always starts it about three minutes after I start. Tell him who you are, sex. See? I'm the other host of this is going to cause an argument, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, over here starving right now. Hey, if it's your first time tuning in, it's a podcast we do every single week, and we pretty much talk about whatever the hell we want to feel like. We do it as a married couple, as black folk. You understand what I'm saying? What? I'm <laughs> listening to you. Hey, and we do this every week with our amazing media family. All right, that media family is our Patreon. You can be a part of that media family. Now, this ain't just Patreon that you come on here and see the same thing that you're seeing right now on YouTube for free. No, this is a, a media family and a Patreon. We do all kinds of things together. We They fix stuff with me on Wednesdays. We do stuff on Friday. We do game nights. We do stuff all throughout the year. Uh, one year, we even had an award ceremony for y'all, the Patreon. Anyway, you can be a part of that media family. All you got to do is go to patreon.com slash that chick angel. Sign up for the low, low of $5 a month. And it's a great time. I'm trying to tell you, it's our own little community. You will hear us talk to them during the episode. Uh, they got comments, stuff coming. I can't see them right now because I'm trying to order some food, but I'm going to go get back over there to them. And uh, it's a great time. And we also got some wonderful sponsors. Angel, go on and let them know who the sponsors are. Our sponsors are Factor, Ritual, and BetterHelp. We'll tell you more about them later on in the podcast. We'll give you uh, promo codes, URLs that you can use for discounts. And uh, it allows you to partner with us, okay, as we partner with them. Uh, no, I'm good, babe. So how you been? I've been good. Focus. Focus right now, damn it. I'm trying to share with the group. You want some caffeine? You marmalade? could have just sent her a link. Oh, I could, couldn't I? It might be too late. I've been good. I can't complain. Been back on my uh, workout schedule, <laughs> my regimen. You understand? I underdig me. Uh, do I underdig you? you good underdig if me, you don't start talking work, like my, a regular-ass uh, man. Schedule. And it's been going good. It's starting to warm up out here. I mean, we get some mixed showers and cold weather. It got done at 38 the other night. Did you know that? Of course, when I, I didn't know. Pick up Marcus? I, I didn't know it got that cold. Yeah, it got down to 38. I'm anyway, in my 40s uh, and not in my but yeah, I can't complain. 60s. I feel great. You, you feel great? Yeah, how about you? I'm hungry. I, I feel really good. Um, I am quite literally trying to stay from feeling famished as well. Been working out. Actually, let's just jump into it. Do we want to do tank sleep pride or do we want to do in my feelings? Um, I feel like we did we just do tank sleep pride. We always do. We we do it so much, but I think last week because we was talking about all the updates, let's do in my feelings. In my feelings. Let me tell you what's got me in my feelings. I got something making me feel good. If this is your first time tuning into this podcast, hello, hello, hello. In My Feelings is a segment that Marcus and I have been doing the longest on this podcast yeah. where we kind of give you an update of what has pissed us off this week or what has got us feeling good. What's got me feeling good is that now that the tour is over, I'm back on my health journey. I'm back to working out. Um, I'm not doing my 5 a.m. workouts right now because we also changed um, drop off schedule. I used to be the person dropping off the older boys the most in the morning, which means we need to be out the house no later than seven, twelve. Mm -hmm. um, however, he does that more often now, and I'm typically taking a mar to school, so I don't actually have to wake up as early to work out. But I'm working out. Um, here's the thing about that journey. <laughs> In my fitness journey, I like to take different, like, supplements. Um, we have really good friends, um, Kiara Lachey and KP, who own uh, different health, fitness. It's like they own everything. Supplements and apps. They have Just Move Supplements. They have the If You Can Move online gym. Mm -hmm. And so I typically would not take a pre-workout. I would just, right. whatever the Lord gave me that day is what I had. So I take a um, a fat burner and a pre-workout supplement before I work out. And I also take AG1 
uh, AG1. I, was, I thought there was more. Athletic yeah. Greens. So, once you get running on the Peloton and lifting weights, all that stuff all equates to whatever you ate is going to be in the toilet. That's really what it equates to. It don't affect me like it. It just takes it all out. I've it, it's so much, and it's that slows me down through the day. I was on time time today as far as in. I was like, ooh. I finished my workout. I'm going to jump in the shower, put on my dress. I'll do my makeup later. I'm going to drop a mar off. Before I got in that shower, my body said, you really, you want to do this? Because you, you're going to have to take a shower again if you do this this way. So I am happy that I'm working out and all that, but I just got to figure out a way for the recovery not to take so long. Mm-hmm. It just takes me. We were just talking about this in the car on the, um, on the vlog. And the vlogs are back. They back. They in the building. The vlogs are back. Um, if you miss the European one, that one's up. It's a good time. A lot of the comments were, I cried the whole entire time. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, vlog. Little Marcus vlogged most of it. Um, and we just put up one today, which is just the beginning. What is it? It was actually Black History Month. So it's an old, old footage, yeah. but still a great vlog. Tomorrow. I don't even. Black History Month. That's February. Were we vlogging? We weren't vlogging. I did. You, you did. You just did that when it wasn't like we back to vlogging yet, right? We were supposed to, we weren't uh, have supposed to have stopped. Uh, <laughs> oh, I thought we was personally taking a break after Christmas. I did a uh, vlog on my hair color change and then um, the healing through music thing that we did at the school. Then I started vlogging at the beginning of the Here's the Thing tour. And I said, mm, I'm not. So those are the first vlogs coming up. And then we'll be closer to current time after that. What's got you feeling good, boo-boo? Sound like a thunderstorm off in the distance. My stomach over here. Listen. Uh, I'm going to tell you what's got me in my feelings first. Okay. Um, I did a story on this on my Instagrams and all that mm. and, my, and my things. Uh, did you vlog it like I asked you to? I've talked about it in the vlog. Remember, it already happened. Yeah, you did? That's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. Uh, as y'all know, we live very close to the wilderness. Okay? Like, we live probably a street and a half away (laughs) Mm. from straight up like wilderness. Everything is out there. If you go out there, it's full survival. Uh, So at our, in our area, we have a lot of uh, birds of prey, meaning we have owls, we have hawks. Um, I don't ever see eagles. I definitely see a lot of hawks, but definitely owls because we hear them things all night. And we got, as y'all know, we got coyotes. We got uh, seen a bobcat or two. Uh, so we, we got a little bit of everything. I don't too much mind all these predators around because it keeps all the rodents down. No, I ain't seen no rats, which is great. Uh, even better, I ain't seen no snakes. Uh, I ain't seen no mice, none of that stuff. So I'm like, all right, I'm good with that. I do see a lot of rabbits. So that makes me kind of sad because, I mean, unless you got a garden, you kind of like, you want rabbits around. You know, ain't nothing like seeing a little bunny unless they're eating up your flowers or something. I don't know. Anyway, walk out the house uh, yesterday. Or oh, I'm coming back home. I left and then I was coming back home and I looked down. There's a dead little rabbit like right in front of our door. Like we have a port, so it's like an overhangs. But whatever dropped it had dropped it right. It, otherwise, it would have been on our roof. So I guess I'm lucky because we would have had a smell and would not have known where it came from. Or well, he would have been stuck in the gutter or something because it was raining. Uh. Anyway, I see this rabbit. I'm like, I'm looking at. I was like, dang. So I'm looking at. It, I'm like, okay, it must have been uh, some type of bird, uh, a hawk or a uh, owl or something, because it wasn't mauled up like a coyote, like I explained. It wasn't mauled up like a coyote, cat, or a dog or something would have done. It was like a clean killing. It he just looked dead, puncture wounds, like one or two. So I tell Angel, I'm like, dang, it's you know, it's a rabbit out there. She's like, you know, you gotta get it. I don't want to see it. So I go get. Eventually, I go get a shovel before I leave back out. And I go to scoop him up, and he starts moving a little bit. That's what pissed me off. Is that it was moving? He wasn't dead. Ah, the bunny. Was he bleeding? Nah, he wasn't bleeding. But he wasn't dead. He was probably bleeding internally. That's why he was hurt. That's why he was, you know, injured or whatever internally. So now I'm mad because I'm like, whatever did this, you should have finished, did the job all the way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, lazy punk ass birds. If you're going to kill something, kill it. Don't just drop it and leave it. Maybe it was one of them owls that were hawks that be like hunting bigger animals. So he was waiting on like a dog to come and get it. And he was going to get the dog. 
setting out bait. I don't, I don't know, know. But it, that's what pissed me off because now, you know, I do love animals as much as I don't be liking animals. I do love animals. I don't want nothing to be injured. So then I had to go on and finish off the rabbit. I didn't I want have to do that. Oh, my God. With your bare hands? No. I don't want to know. You don't, don't, don't want to tell? So what I did was. Okay, guys, let me tell you about something <laughs> amazing. And that's Factor. Eat stress-free <laughs> this spring with Factor's delicious ready-to-eat meals. Do they have ready? At, you want to, to have to redo this no, ad? Uh-uh. I'm okay. Just asking, go ahead. Well, you hear me in the ad, so let me be inside of the ad. Be in the ad. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, or Vegan and Veggie. Also, discover more than 60 add ons every week, like breakfast, on the go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and fuel up for your springtime goals. Get chef-prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factors Ready-to-Eat Meals so you can get back to doing what you love this spring. Looking for gourmet meals? Try meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, truffle butter, broccolini, and asparagus. No fuss, no mess meals. Factors Meals eliminate the hassle of prepping, cooking, and cleaning. Simply heat and savor the good stuff. Tailored for your schedule. Customize your weekly meals with a flexible Excuse me, flexibility to get as much or as little as you need. Pause or reschedule deliveries to suit your lifestyle. Factor is your solution for fast premium meals without the need of cooking or for cooking. And we're celebrating Earth Day all month long. Look out for the Earth Month Eat badge on menu for your lowest carbon footprint meals. Let me tell you, this is not even in here. I want to give y'all my personal experience. I really like Factor. That's actually what I'm going to be using to carry me into the summer. I enjoyed the meals. We had about uh, like five different chicken meals that we tried. They were all really good. I love the calorie count. Not not that I personally like to count calories, but I do look at what type of caloric intake meals have, and I love where they are sit. And I thought the meals tasted uh, really good. And mm-hmm. for somebody like me who is very busy, I love the fact that I can have something quick that does not feel like cheap and just like, girl, what was that? Why did you eat that? So anyway, com slash argue50 and use code argue50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's our that's code argue fifty at factormeals.com slash argue fifty to get fifty percent off your first box plus twenty percent off your next box while your subscription is active. Thank you, Factor. Thank you, Factor. Oh, Back to what I was saying. You're nasty. Um you're no, nasty. Somebody asked, no, he did not bleed uh, once I had to finish off the job. Um did it very quick and swiftly so he didn't feel nothing else. Poor thing. Rabbits are too cute to be just laying there. I know. I used to. D- did you ever have a pet rabbit? Yeah, I told you about Pink Eye. Oh, you did. And mine, mine's name was Lori. Yeah, mine. He was solid white and had pink eyes. Yeah, yeah. That sounds terrible. Mine um, was like brownish color, but I was petrified of her. Her paws and like claws. Were, I was like, you could literally scratch me up. So we. Gave her away to my friends, and she was just crapping all over their oh, house. Yeah, no, mine. I told. I don't know if y'all remember. Mine died. I left it in the sun in its cage, and it died. And <laughs> then I seen my daddy just chucking him over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to do was just throw the rabbit over the I hill. I mean, I did after I finished him off. You couldn't just have done that. No, because then he would have been down there. No, suffering. if not, if you like. Throw it hard enough that the end. Yeah, he would have had the softest land of his life, landed on some brush, some bushes, or <laughs> you something. You think that's what it would happen? Yeah, it ain't nothing but soft stuff to land down there. No. And, uh, anywho. And I threw some last week. I threw, see, y'all be caring about these animals. Angel had, I don't know, what was all the chopped up carrots and celery that was in the refrigerator? I think it was supposed to be snacks for the kids, but they never ate them. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I threw all that over the hill. I'm like, yeah, the, 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 the wildlife can eat this stuff. Oh, bless it. Sarah's and Kellery. I will bless Sarah's and Kellery. Sarah's <laughs> <Sarit. laughs> <Sarit> and Kellery. <laughs> bless your little heart. Bless your brain. Sarah's and Celery. <laughs> Come on, Sarah's and Relevant. Uh-huh. Uh, what was it? I did that on purpose. Oh. <laughs> Anywho, anyway, what's got me feeling some kind of way is that people are really 
losing their minds in these streets. I was telling Marcus on my way here, in the past two weeks, I have been flipped off twice. I'm not twice, four times. <laughs> in the past two weeks, I've been flipped off four times by drivers. One of those times, I was at fault, but the person who was mad needed to just let it go. Okay, like Elsa. So the first time uh, was I was given a right away that I should not have been given. I kind of also kind of took it, but the person who gave it to me went ahead and allowed me to have it um, because they could have sped past me. It was one of those times where I don't know why I thought I had my own separate lane to to go into, but me deciding to go, they needed to yield to me when I should have yielded to them. Mm -hmm. Well, but the person behind the person that went ahead and allowed me to have the right of way was the person who flicked me off. They made sure they pulled up beside me, slowed their car down to give me the middle finger. And I was like, well, sir, that's not necessary. Another time, all these other times, though, are people who are either taking my right away or impeding into my lane. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, I have a very large truck. Mm -hmm. There are very few trucks on the road or vehicles that are going to go toe to toe with the size of the vehicle that I have. You're going to have to be in like an actual like uh, Mack another, truck, pickup SUV, truck, or a SUV. Li- yeah, a lifted pickup truck, but even still, it ain't no bigger. It just sets higher. It just sets higher. But a lot of these people are in like little cars or these like crossover SUVs that are tiny. And they are really out here. This one man, literally today, after I dropped off my baby, Tried to get over into my lane and I'm not even being a jerk. I'm not like trying to keep him from getting over, but I'm also not reducing my speed. He was, um, we were both in lanes beside each other and the person in front of him was not going fast enough for him to pick up enough speed to pass me. So it's kind of like, well, now you, you just going to have to wait, you know what I'm saying? Until that person's not in front of you and then you can go as fast as you want to. So he starts to merge into my lane without fully clearing me. So he's going to tip the back of his car is going to hit the front of my car. So I'm like, I honk like, sir, you about to hit me. This man gave me the middle finger so quick. Like as if it's as if to say, why aren't you letting me over? First of all, I'm not in a turning lane. So I'm not preventing you from going to Mm -hmm. a street that you need to get to. The lane I'm in is in a straight lane. So are you. So you just going to have to wait. So I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. And it's all been a white men. Yeah. Every single last one of the times that I've been flipped off has been by white men. And I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's because tax season's around the corner and they don't know what to do. They're just really frustrated with your girl. And I'm trying my best not to allow them to, like, get me all out of my sorts because a couple of times my kids have been in the car but it's irritating me yeah now california traffic will piss you off just from that type of stuff people are idiots now like i do whatever i can to avoid traffic and going where Mm -hmm. the majority that's like there's one street that we take the kids to uh take the kids to school on we take that road now because i mean you still deal with idiots but not not as much it's like maybe a quarter of the people take that road than to take the main road. Cause I'm just like, I will take this every single time just to avoid all the crazy crap. I was telling Angel, there was one time, uh, this was not that long ago. There was this truck, this dude in his big F1, F-150, which ain't a big truck, but his was lifted. He had the big tires and stuff on it. This is, we on a two lane road and he done made, cause the far right lane or the right lane is wide. So he done made his own lane and he's just burling past people. Then by the time he gets close to me, that lane gets narrowed down to a normal size. He think he's going to scoot me out of my lane. You got the wrong one, homie. Now, Marcus will be. He done intimidated everybody because he's in his big truck. You're not going to do. That's just dudes on Harley's done try to intimidate me. It's not going to happen. I'm going to win this. You're like, I'm going to take it in. <laughs> Especially on a motorcycle. You're going to lose every time. Your, your vest and your tattoos don't bother me. They're not road proof. They're not bumper proof. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I was just like, you know you're <laughs> at the deficit in yeah. this dang old motorcycle. Uh, don't do not, this. And, and I was telling Angel, this dude did all this. He, he finally, because he was going to have to run up on the curve. He finally had to slam on his brakes and then got all the way over just to get to a turning lane to a light that was red. And everybody that he was forcing his way past, passed him right up. I'm like... What was the point of all that? 
Uh, it's stupidity. Somebody said that the white men are mad because Beyonce released Cowboy Carter. Oh, well, then, white men been doing this. Uh, then I'm going to need her to release number two and three. Make them matter. <laughs> Make them matter. What's yeah, got right, you feeling uh, good, boo-boo? Uh, outside of working out, um, starting up uh, Taste It With Tank. Excited? That back off. Yeah. I know you, you're shooting this week, right? Yeah, I'm shooting this week. Uh, I might shoot multiple episodes this week. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm excited about that just to see where this goes. Now, um, we had a friend that did a talk show after uh, this person did Tasting with Tank. And then they ended up going on a talk show like months later. And she said, they got ideas from your show because I did the same thing on that talk show. Why don't you just say what it was? I don't because I don't remember fully who it was. Oh, so Marcus did a segment on Breesha's wigs for. Yeah, I, remember it was the Bre- I don't remember what talk show. Oh, I was. remember the whole oh, thing. Okay, go ahead. On uh, Breesha's wigs, and then she did the Sherry Shepherd show, and yeah, they did a whole segment on Breesha's wigs, and it wasn't months after; it was like maybe a month. Yeah. Yeah. I was, so I was like, oh, so that was like, uh, that was encouraging, inspirational. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, somebody done seen my stuff or they done seen Brisha on something and was like, what's she talking about on there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we, when they do the um, research of like, they, when they research guests and they, you know, Google and stuff yeah. and probably that interview came up. Um, so I'm uh, I'm redoing some, uh, a lot of the same people. I'm bringing on some new people. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Good. I'm excited for you. Uh, the only reason why I knew which day you were shooting on is because I put it on the calendar. it's on our family calendar. <laughs> it's on our family calendar. <laughs> you guys. And then we're going to move to the next segment. I have this big, well, it's not, it's not as big as I wanted. The one I wanted is sold out. But I was like, mm-hmm. I've been wanting to do this. The, I have this, what is it? Ellie, what type of screen is that? It's, LCD screen? LCD. It's a glorified tablet. Yeah, right, it's but it's basically just, a tablet. It just holds a. It does less. Yeah, it does a lot less. <laughs> it's a screen. We have it up in the kitchen, and um, because right now we do, Kennedy typically adds stuff to our collective calendars so we can see them on our phone, um, and it, it's all Gucci and gravy. But sometimes we don't know if, like, she's added stuff that we can't see. Right. For some reason, it's not coming over. Yeah, these calendars don't be syncing up the way they should. No, they don't do it perfectly, no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's become a problem. So this is a way for us to not only begin, like, adding homework. Remind me, Kennedy, uh, Kai and Sai have a multicultural thing that I think I have to have them turn in tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> not only for us to be able to start adding some of, like, the kids, like, homework deadlines, but also a place for Kennedy to be able to see whether or not – Whatever she added to the calendar is showing up. So can you sync my calendar to it? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a part of the to, the do list today. It's actually really easy. You could do it yourself. Okay. No, I would just make sure more than one could be synced to it. Oh, yeah. That's All the right, reason. That's, I wasn't saying for you to do it. Um, When the tasting would tank, did you add it to the calendar? Yeah. Or did she? No, I added it to the calendar. I went on there and typed it in. Oh, no. You should have. Let me show you how to do it. It's so fun. So excited. We need to clean that calendar up. That's on her. Okay. I, All right. All right. I'm just saying it needs to be cleaned up. Because oh the thing is, you don't want to look at a calendar and just see a whole bunch of colors because then eventually you're going to ignore it, especially if it's stuff that's like on there that. Um, it's not, I don't think it, it just needs to have this. It, whatever's supposed to be on there should be on there, regardless of whether it's a whole bunch of colors. The, the choir don't need to be on there. Why don't it? Are they still doing choir? Yes. So sometimes little Marcus does not have practice, but he he has to stay behind because they have choir. So, but they it's just a blanket thing that they own there though. Like Marcus's practices ain't never been on there. It's just kids choir. I would prefer his practices be on there, but we have to sync his calendar to it. Regardless, there are some old things on there. Like when my therapy sessions were, those can come off because I'm not inside of my therapy sessions right now in the uh, trainer stuff. Training. That can come off. <laughs> the last time you filmed Rose Pricks. Listen, but the reason why it's still on there is because it's from the assistant phone. Uh-oh. I can't erase stuff from there. I was That's looking, why. I said, what, first, why is here's the thing on here twice and Rose Pricks? What? That's why in Kennedy's to do list that I already emailed her, uh, it says for her to clean up her calendar because that'll fix the calendar in the kitchen. Anyways, now we're going to do TikTok O'Clock. But actually, before we do that, let's tell you about our next sponsor. 
Um, and that's a ritual. Um, now, again, y'all, I keep talking about this whole fitness, not fitness, but wellness journey that I've restarted. And baby, <laughs> ritual is a part of it, too. Did you know that women are excluded from clinical uh, clinical research policy by federal law until 1993? That's crazy. 1993? Women belong in scientific research. They're essential. Ritual knows they conducted a university-led human clinical trial for their essential for women's 18-plus multivitamin as uh, to assess its efficacy. Uh, how you say that? Effect. Efficacy. There we go. Listen, I, I can say right, but I heard it. I was efficacy like, right. is the word. Yeah. It felt like I added a C where it didn't belong, but y'all get what I'm saying, okay? Uh, the results, it's uh, it increased vitamin D levels by 43 percent and omega three DHA levels by 41 percent in just 12 weeks. Now, let me tell you, I can be a real skeptic when it comes to claims that different, you know. Things uh, make, especially like timeshare, you know, they're like, you'll save so much money if you get this thing. And, and mm -hmm. I'm like, no, if I calculate this out right, that you you will lie. Um, well, if you can spot a too good to be true health hack from a mile away and you read labels like it's your job, congratulations. You are a skeptic like myself. And Ritual knows that every good skeptic skeptic deserves a multivitamin that exceeds your standards their clinically black backed essentials for women 18 plus multivitamin has high quality traceable key ingredients in a clean bioavailable form what i like about rituals essential for women 18 plus is that it's just two capsules that you take it's delayed release it's minty it does what it needs to do in a very short amount of commitment on your end um, and as a busy woman, I can't be sitting there trying to make and concoct and all this stuff. Give me some, I can pop and go. Um, again, like I said, they're clinically backed multivitamin. They have nine key nutrients and two delayed release capsules, which is my favorite because I need it to be having the absorption rate that I want. Okay. And it's also gentle on the stomach. It is USP verified. Um, and so that means that it, the product shows what it actually contains, okay, on the label. Um, they're vegan, non-GMO, project uh, verified, gluten, and major allergen-free, certified B Corp, and made traceable. And it is leading the industry in su sustainability standards. Ritual is a female-funded B Corp, meaning they are holding themselves accountable to not just their company's financial health, but its health of the people in our planet. So no more shady business. Ritual is essential for women's 18 plus as a multivitamin you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash argue. Argue. Start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. That's Ritual.com slash argue for 25% off. All right, now it's time for TikTok O'Clock. Angel, girl, what time is it? TikTok O'Clock. Okay, we got uh, someone that me and Marcus both love, um, Viola Davis, who has her thoughts about marriage. Marriage doesn't start when you say I do. Your marriage starts when you look over at your partner and you want to kill him. You want to, you're looking at them going for, for seconds or sometimes minutes or longer. You're just thinking, I cannot believe I married this human being. They are driving me crazy. And then the next minute you say, I love them more than anything. Marriage is a commitment. People don't always marry the everyday. They marry the kind of now, kind of wow, and then it gets to the every single day, the going to bed, the waking up, the taking the grocery, getting the groceries, taking out the garbage, and loving each other through that. First of all, whoever did that edit did a terrible job with all that music underneath. They were just throwing in sound mm -hmm. underneath. <laughs> yes, I was like, whoa, golly. Oh, sorry. Like, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> this don't go. <laughs> it's like, why am I hearing all this? Okay, Marcus, tell me your thoughts on what one of your favorites who's posted your videos before. You uh, know, me and V, we <laughs> we go way back. You uh, know, you know her husband. Yeah, me, V, J, uh, J, you know, yeah. Julius, me and him, we mad cool. Uh, you know, hey, those are my people. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> now, um, I can agree to a, to a degree. 
Okay, tell me. Uh, like I, I understand what she's saying. Um, I, I'm not gonna take it as a literal thing. Like it don't start until you start disliking the person. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I do agree that um, definitely agree that people, especially, I've seen it way before the whole social media ex- explosion, mm-hmm. where people will get with somebody and get married for the what they see temporarily for the right now uh-huh. and not like the everyday the uh, long they don't they didn't you know you can't get into marriage unless you look at the longevity or you shouldn't unless you look at the longevity you yeah. know you get for, get with somebody for looks eventually them looks is gonna look like everybody else mm. um if you get with somebody even the for the way they fully act that guess what that's gonna change um but uh I will say to get to the nuts and bolts of marriage, it does take some time. Like I was, uh, I think we talked about it on here one time. I realized I wanted, I knew Angel, me and Angel was going to get married is when we would get extremely mad at each other and I didn't walk away. (laughs) (laughs) Because before then I wouldn't, I wouldn't put no effort into any relationship. It was just like, I ain't arguing with you. Mm Mm-hmm. Life's too short for that. No, when I'm willing to have another argument, I'm like, all right, this is uh, maybe this is getting somewhere. Mm-hmm. You're like, I, I still talk to you after this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would say for this, I agree with uh, Mrs. Viola Davis. Um, I think she hit the nail on the head. People get married for the wow, yeah. and unfortunately, the wow is not sustainable. Nah. As much as that would be great if every day was a wild day, but eventually then those wild days would just seem normal and it wouldn't yeah. seem wild. Even you, if it is a wild thing. Right. Yeah, it's, like, it's just like there are celebrities that at one point in time, I like seeing them just kind of was like, oh my gosh. But now I see them so often, not that I still don't admire them and it's mm-hmm. not like, why, but they are now normal people to right. me. And it's just like, I don't have to be like, hey, I could be like, what's going on? How you doing? It's uh, like, for instance, Erica Campbell, I am a huge fan of her and Tina. I see Erica enough now that I know that she'll say, hey, Angel. And I don't have to be like, how do you know my name? Yeah. Um, and I'm uh, had I had I potentially been a bigger fan of Kevin's uh, Kev on stage, does y'all know him? I possibly would have been the same way. I I, uh, I was a fan of Kevin's, but not like oh my god, Kevin's always seemed like a, kind of like a peer of mine. Mm-hmm. But I can understand how if it was somebody who never got to meet him before that had a chance to really build their fandom of him, getting to just like take a picture and talk to him would right. feel like. <gasps> Wow. So in marriage, it's the kind of the same thing. Like, obviously, I hope that at one point in time, wow existed. If you are in the American sense of marriage, because I know in other cultures that does not exist. You marry who they chose for you. And Mm -hmm. that is what it is. But in the American sense of marriage, I hope that you got a chance to experience the wow and the feel good. But yeah. If you want it to last, you got to you got to be committed to that every day. Yeah, and, thing. and I think it's a transition also from the the wow to the longevity of it. It's just like it's still a wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just it th- those beginning wows, like you said, they will fade. The ri- initial reason, if you just met somebody and was attracted to them, most likely it's a physical thing. Seeing that all the time will fade. It's a piece of artwork on the wall. You walk past it every day, you'll still think it looks nice, but eventually you ain't going to stop and keep staring at it after year right. five or six of having it. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's nice. And if you decide to switch out that piece of artwork or something, everybody's like, how could you switch it out? Because I got tired of it. You can't do that with marriage. <laughs> exactly. You can't. Marriage is not like I mean, the car. I do, but. Well, yeah, you're right. You, then you have to know that that's how you're getting married. Not for forever, but more so for and tell you where wear off. And yeah. tell your sheen wears off. Right. So this TikTok o'clock, definitely agreeing with uh, Viola. But uh, and have I ever wanted to kill Marcus? Not. I've never wanted to kill him. Yeah, I've wanted him. to potentially hurt him in some way. I'm not even sure if it's physically, but just yeah. more so. Yeah, but never. I don't think I've ever got to the point where I'm like, I'm a, I'm gonna kill this man. But nah, I get yeah, I the sentiment. Yeah, I definitely ain't got to the point of kill. I've gotten to a point. It's like, 
I think I wish I could punch her and everything and not hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if, I, <laughs> if I could have like a clone or a, a cyborg or something versus no. like. No. Oh, just. See, mm, no, then, and I don't think that. I just be like, I'm <sighs> going to burn his cars. I don't ever think about doing anything See, to your physical. that would emotionally hurt me. I don't want to yes. emotionally hurt you. Physically, you, that, you, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. All right, so let's jump into the topic of today. Spring has sprung, and so have some other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, why you why you roll your eyes? I can already tell. What is, you can I tell what? I want to hear what you no, can tell. Just by the, I can feel the energy shifting. Go ahead. What's, no, 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 no. If you go interrupt me, give description. I it's didn't a podcast. interrupt you. You did. You said your eyes interrupted no, me. Was, your eyes are loud. Okay. Didn't nobody else hear it? They did. Through the mic. They heard. Yeah. Yeah, That's what your eyes sound like when you go roll ahead. them. <laughs> See, spring is rough. <laughs> this is what I meant, <laughs> and uh, so have other things. So I'm going to talk about getting frisky. Getting frisky, yeah, yes. For some reason, and I've said this before, seasons changing to the warmer seasons. Is this when things like most things mate? Yeah. What is that? It's the new life. It's the new beginning. Everything it, with all the trees, everything outside was dead for four months. <laughs> Five months. But why does that make a? Why would that make? Why does that equate to horny though? Because everything else is coming back to life, so that means you need to reproduce. Everything else don't reproduced. See, it's I for you to reproduce. See, I would think that this would equate to ba- lot, there being a lot of spring babies born. You talking about in the human sense of the modern human sense? Explain what you think I'm saying again. So you're thinking like the hibernation, everything goes in. That's when they're out, the mating would happen. And then spring, everything is being born. Uh, according to what you're saying, that's what it feels like should be. Because no, you're saying everything saying is plants. Birth. They don't went into, they don't, they don't died off. They don't, they coming back. They don't went into hibernation. The plants don't reproduce until spring when everything. Their is, reproductive uh, journey doesn't even start until spring. Right. Okay. Okay, because they don't take or as long. they're born again, then it like later, late spring or whatever. That's when, you know, fruit becomes ripe, a seed drops, or a fruit drops, the seed goes into the ground, another tree. Is- right. The right part does equate to what I feel. I feel like I remember, I recall this going back to high school. So that makes sense because that's when I feel like our hormones were at the most raging since. I recall coming back from spring break. And having the hardest time focusing mm-hmm. on anything school related, my mentals were very much so in a like, for lack of a better term, horny mindset. And oh, oh wasn't you? Tell me, mm-hmm. tell me about you. Uh, somebody else it, that makes sense too. They said they were sleeping, meaning the trees and stuff. You wake up horny. So does everything else. <laughs> <laughs> right. Apparently. But uh, go no, ahead. I, it was a sense of excitement and ener- I, I was energetic and excited, but it wasn't, I can't, I can't, th- not that I can remember. I don't remember it being like a horny thing. I mean, I think that was me. All the time. I, all it's the probably time. harder for, uh, <laughs> it's probably, yeah, it <laughs> <laughs> it's probably more difficult for you to see the nuances in your level of like, sexual arousal if you're always like yeah. aroused versus I can I can definitely feel the difference between like level set me where I'm normally at versus girl what is going on like yeah. um so you think it's because of just because of the way the the nature in it's Absolutely. informing us yeah is there more? And, was, that's part of you being in that within that. Even though we ain't we ain't living outside, like that's still that time of spring. It's just like everything is coming about. Everything is coming back out. It's you went from cold weather to warm weather. It's uh the the days are brighter. The days are longer. Uh huh. It's all of that so, affecting the uh, you know just affecting the body. So if weather isn't the thing that does it for you. Is there something that makes something, I'm saying external that doesn't have to do with something that I specifically did that causes your like, let's go. Um, I think uh, it's my heart beating. 
<laughs> Shut up. I'm being serious. I'm being, I don't, nothing puts me there. I just be there. <laughs> Yo, no, so you, you don't ever notice periods of time. Obviously, we all know age is a factor, but that's a long-term thing. Mm -hmm. But you don't notice periods of time in the year where it feels like, God dang. Vacations. So the lack of, is that the lack of stress? Is that what it is? No. Stress ain't got nothing. <laughs> um, not or I lack of distraction. That's what I figure. That For me, when it comes to vacation sex, I know that's the reason why I'm able yeah, to. That's, that's me too. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have these. I never felt these spikes, you know, other than, I mean, like I said, spring, I felt more energetic. I've always felt more energetic. Um, even uh, I, for a lack of a better term, I can't really think of what I'm saying. Happier. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Well, we do know weather does affect mood. Yeah. Yes. Um, even though, you know, I love a lot of the, you know, of course, Christmas and Thanksgiving. That's a lot of people's favorites, uh, holidays. But even, you know, coming out of that, you know, my birthday is in early January, uh, late January. But, yeah, just uh, approaching the spring is, yeah, it, visually seeing trees and stuff. Black, but I haven't noticed the effect. It never affected me in that manner. Because it probably doesn't look like a spike. If anything, it's probably just a small shift. But real quick, before we continue on getting frisky with it, this show is sponsored by Better Help. Marcus, how is your social battery right now, would you say? Uh, my social battery is usually it's about out of a quarter of a tank where it stays what uh that's where it usually oh, yeah, stays it's ca caps at a quarter <laughs> why do you feel like uh <laughs> is at this level do you do you feel like seasons affect your social battery at absolutely. all absolutely are you more sociable when it's hotter yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think so too i think my social battery actually my yeah, you, you're, my my social battery yeah. be staying you, your up. social battery stays plugged in as you're using it <laughs> it does it's a motion watch yeah yes absolutely um it could be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin especially with social gatherings gatherings picking up after winter what's the right amount of socializing for you and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people, which a lot of times that is the case for me. Or maybe you need some more alone time, which is Marcus in a sense. Um, therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. Let me tell you, that was something that was actually a goal of mine with my therapist. Um, my friendships, if you all have been watching us for a while, you know they're very important for me important to me and how I show up as a friend is very important to me and there was a time in life where especially with the pandemic but when I got really busy working that I did not feel like I was able to spend any time with my friends because the little bit of time I did have was I was trying to dedicate it to my husband and my children but I was noticing that that part of me that wasn't getting fed was also causing me to feel more drained um, cause again, like I said, I'm like a motion watch. If I'm not around my friends, then I don't feel like I have the energy for my friends. So I needed to have both. Um, but therapy was able to make, let me put words to it and come up with a plan of action so that I could show up the way I wanted to and have my social battery charged. If you're thinking about starting therapy, let me tell you right now, BetterHelp is such a great option and you should give it a try. First of all, it's entirely done online. So it's flexible so that it can fit into your schedule. You can do your sessions anywhere, any place. You can do them in your car, in your garage. You could do them in your living room. You don't have to set up child care necessarily because I know that was uh, would have been a big thing for me if um, therapy wasn't online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and BetterHelp will match you with a licensed therapist. And if y'all are not vibing, if it's not the right fit, guess what? You could change at any time at no additional cost. Find your social sweet spot with better help visit betterhelp.com slash argue argue today to get 10 percent off your first month that's better help help.com slash argue argue um okay so obviously for you you don't have spikes which again i feel like makes sense if you're always you know you know but yeah yeah <laughs> you honestly can't Thing. I know for you, it does seem like you're more so, the more it's happening, the more you want it. Yeah. Well, not, I think, uh, 
I, I don't mind it being on the regular. Like, it don't get tiring for me. <laughs> uh-huh. You don't get bored with nah, it. Mm-mm. Right. But, no, I know you don't mind it on regular. But it also, it does seem like the um, the more you, the more frequent it is, the more you initiate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a motion watch. <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy to uh, so it the only reason why then it, if we draw on this yeah, I'm conclusion like, I'm like a I'm like a train rolling down a hill. You let it pick up speed, it's just going to keep going faster. <laughs> um oh, Emil said real quick, do you think this is related to cuffing season? So we have spring and sprung, mm-hmm. where, like I said, horny like little hunching rabbits, right? Mm-hmm. But then you have what we have named cuffing season, which is right before you go into the cold months. Right. When you want to get that little thickum, keep you yeah. warm. Um, do you feel like that has, is that just something that society has done? Or is that like, a? do you think also us subconsciously responding to what nature wants us to do? Because this is the reason why I said what you were saying before felt more like, oh, no, then babies should be getting birthed. In the spring or towards yeah, no, the that's, summer. That's definitely what society has, something society started. It's like the whole cuffing season thing. It's like. <laughs> um, you don't think it has anything to do with nature? No. Really? Absolutely not, no. Why? Because as far as like humans, we, that was, we, that's something we don't do is like hibernate. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the, maybe the, in the, the people from the Caucasus Mountains, maybe they did. Uh-huh. But we didn't do that. <laughs> well, the only reason why I would beg to differ and say it might have to, it might have something to do with it. So the warmer months, it does allow us as humans, even like through evolution, to be outdoors more often, to be able to socialize. Because we do not, while we don't hibernate, we've always had to protect ourselves from the outside elements. Mm-hmm. And the outside elements are more harsh during the winter time. Well, as we start to move out of the the more pleasant weather and we realize we are going to be indoors more, I wonder if it is like a part of our biological clock of, hey, this this whole outdoor time is about to be over. You need the thing that's going to be with you and come back during the colder nights. But you think that ain't got, no, ain't got nothing to do with it. Because same way we like sundresses, we like leggings. No, <laughs> so, but you you're thinking of this as just a very modern. No, but I'm man. saying I can't I can't speak to that. I don't me personally, I don't know. I don't go with that. The whole yeah, it's getting colder, so let me get this to nah. And also I if I think of it as like a woman, if we go by the traditional, like going back to prehistoric, uh not prehistoric, but like ancient days if we're talking about hunters and gatherers right Mm -hmm. in the traditional sense and correct me if i'm wrong in most cultures men were the hunters i'm not saying that women weren't hunters at all but in majority of cultures men were the hunters yeah that's usually how it went yeah strongest and fastest would go hunt yeah right exactly so this is what i mean by like even in that sense if you ain't got somebody out there hunting for you during the cold times, you you ain't going to be bringing in no harvest like that because the ground is no longer fertile or ripe or whatever the hell you want to call it. Go My ahead. People didn't experience no cold times because they was in Africa. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But you, you know what? 20 something percent of your people is white, too. Barely. No. <laughs> that 80 percent. That, that's just the people that invaded. I'm talking about that 80% that, that is r- right there. Been in Tango, Congo, all of that. Sri Lankan. Nah. <laughs> uh, but oh, no, not, the, to, me, it, yeah, it, to me, it don't equate. For one, there, there's been enough time that has passed to where those things, I don't feel, fully affect us in that way. Well, I think they do. Um, I think in a sense. That's why I'm. it's leaning for me back toward it just being nature. It being the change of the season, this is this is what it's doing to your body. It's uh, the the air is um, is more dense because it's warmer. It's just like that's just yeah. I just I will put it on air. The whole cuffing thing, I definitely put it on society. But yeah, I don't. 
for me, I can't speak to it being, oh, this is what it does to me. By uh, you know, it's only biology. because you were a whore year long. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> I'm asking you to step out of just your experience and look at it in a no, global e- historical e- even way. In, even in global historical, I don't believe it, to me that doesn't say anything. I would more rely on it being the spring thing coming out and what spring does to everything, every animal. So, yeah, that's so you don't feel like fall or winter does something to everything and every animal. Yeah. But you don't think that relates to sex or... With humans, no. We are the only species that has sex for fun. Yeah, I, no, no, no. I get that. I also don't think it removes the other parts of sex that end up happening. It was in some study. Hold on. What would that make it? Majority of birthdays are in September, I think. The most it's pop- May or September, something like that. I think it's September. Yeah. It's like the top. 10 birthdays, there was only one not inside of September. All the yes, rest. because everybody was smashing in June and July. <laughs> no, September birthdays would be a January. Um, January? Yeah, because oh, September no, no, is the no. ninth month. No, I, I remember that being a different month then because I was like, oh, it's the summer and it's coming. I think it was like Let May me look or at, something like that. Let me look up most popular. I was going to say most uh, popular. Oh, dolphins do well. Dolphins are just First sadistic. Day, <laughs> um, oh no, no, no! It's saying, well, yeah, okay. So, kind of, it says August is overall the most popular month for birthdays, which makes sense. A late August birthday means December conception, cold weather, snow, romantic fires, holiday parties. It's the beginning of the human mating season. Mating season to make a baby. I just be wanting to smash when the sun comes out. I'd be like, oh, this morning, had I just had I been able to wake up fully and wake you up fully before you had to get out the bed, I could not wake up fully, sir. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I know you gotta take advantage. You gotta. Start. You gotta take advantage. I, you. I'm You'll just. You'll never saying. hear me talking about now. Had I did this, <laughs> I know you're not me. I am me. I'm just telling you. This morning. Yeah, August makes sense because you got all them wonderful gifts from for Christmas and <laughs> one of the what? Wonderful gifts for Christmas and oh, you want to the New Year's parties? Oh yes. So yeah, y- y- y'all got to start thanking these men. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we yeah. got to do? You <laughs> dumb. Um, anywho, anyway, anyhow, let's, uh, have our Patreon chime in. Do you all think, first of all, are y'all, are y'all, um, little horny rabbits in the springtime? Is this just me? I I can't be the only one. Can't, can't be the only one. And do y'all think that nature has a lot to do with how our, um, and when I say nature, I don't mean nature in just the biology that how we were put together, but how nature affects our bodies has anything to do with our libidos. I see. see, Sherry, Sherry was to being thankful in uh, <laughs> both babies came in November. <laughs> she said, I appreciate you. Uh, um, it said, oh, Shay had a question. We'll do an audience question as they chime in, and then we'll close out with the comment of the week. Shay Shiggity says, when you all were dating, Angel, did you feel awkward initiating the sex, or did you, or you didn't, didn't, you, care? Or you didn't care? I don't, the thing is, is it never felt, when we were dating and during the time that we were actually having sex, because we didn't, have sex throughout our entire dating experience. There was a period of time where we um, weren't, which was after uh, pretty much after engagement. It's hard to even say who was initiating because we, yeah, we were, were both initiating. We no no no. It just always felt like if there was the opportunity, yeah. we were going yeah, to do that, it that, because we were long distance. Uh, if the opportunity was there, we was going to take it. Yeah, there was like. There was never like, hey, you want, it was very much so like a, all right. Mm-hmm. You know what it is. <laughs> they're, they're, we are awake. 
<laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It, you, I saw yeah. you move a little bit. That's awake enough for me. Yeah. Don't recommend at all. Oh, it's your mouth. Okay, here's some of the um, answers. EO Adams says springtime is dangerous. I get it. Uh, Leah says the hotter it gets, the less I want it. Wow. Okay. Trisha Green says, I'm a rabbit year round. Well, go on here, girl. Somebody's hopefully happy. Uh, Erica says, all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, P, I can never get this right. P, P, a P, Q. Uh, he says, I prefer cold months. Leah says, don't touch me. Um, love on me when it's cold outside. Cuffing season. Right. Uh, Ashley says, all the dag on time. Uh, and then Christina says, maybe it's because I'm not married, no kids, and going through perimenopause. I'm ready every day, all the time. Well, come on. Love it. Mm-hmm. So it's a different, it's definitely, uh, and E.L. Adams, I think I think a lot more men should talk about this, to be honest. E.L. Adams says, my stress level impacts my libido. Mm-hmm. I think, I really do feel like men do not tell the truth about that because it only sounds good to say that you want it all the time. Yeah. It never sounds good for a man to be like, I mean, I could be with it, with it yeah, or without it. But uh, Marcus can tell you stress <coughs> definitely Thank impacts. Uh, God bless no, you. No, definitely. And that's, uh, yeah, I, t- I screenshot it uh, that and with uh, E.L. Adams said she has to initiate all the time and she hates it. I think that's a dude. E.L. Adams. I oh, think. it is a dude. Well, regardless, we're going to talk about that and let us tell it. <laughs> uh, if I can get some sense out of Greg. But, <laughs> um, I, yeah, no, it's a, this is the thing. It's a lot more education is out there on uh, women's, what women go through. I it's don't know if it's more education, more. but well, I do. talked about a lot more. There's more transparency. Yeah, more transparency because, you know, every man walking this planet is at the top of his game. Magically, which Just is bullshit. Just lying to themselves. Which is bullshit. They lie to themselves. They lie to their wives. Their wives is lying to them. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of times it's like it's uncomfortable to, 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 if you have to say it, a lot of women don't know how to say it. Um, No, go ahead. Comment of the week. Uh, this is from Deidre EJ. Thanks, Angel. I went to Target in my neighborhood and they had none of Tab's items. I politely asked the lady as well if she knew what they would when they would arrive. She had no clue. I'm going to have to look at a different store. Great episode. This was last week's episode of the podcast. And it's uh, the should parents have a say in an 18 year old's uh, dating life. And I was talking about how I had to pause before going off on a Target employee mm-hmm. because they didn't have my girl stuff but the stuff is out right now so if you haven't gotten your tab popcorn or all her other really amazing food items at target go ahead and get them mm-hmm. but they'll be there year round babe any announcements um none none at all tell them about man shit boo i'm gonna tell y'all about man shit man shit is my beard and body butter i have scented and unscented versions i gotta make some more today kennedy um, or start that process. Uh, all you got to do is go to manshit.com. You go to M A N S H Y T.com and check that out. You can also check out a bunch of stuff on shopmamalikes.com. The Here's the Thing shirts will be going up on there here soon. I'm just, I think I'm about to go with a different vendor for the shirts. Um, you have the beauty products, and also in the coming like a month or so, I think in the month of May. Yes, for I think a Mother's Day drop. I'll be doing a collaboration with Life's Journey. This is actually not I Am Enough. This is a different collaboration, and I think you all are going to like it because we are going balls to the wall for this one. Also, thank you all for your love for the Curb Your Enthusiasm finale episode that I was in. And I know there's one other thing I was going to tell you all, but I can't remember it right now. So we all Gucci. Uh, Next week, we'll be starting back with our Adventures uh, Challenge Couples Edition. Uh, We, being on tour, weren't able to get in date nights, but we have done two successful date nights uh, last week in, or the week before last and Mm -hmm. this week. So we back on the, we back on the whole road of getting our date nights in. So I'm excited to explore and have more adventure with you, baby. Mm -hmm. Love you. All right. So... 
Good, good news. What? Food is outside. Perfect timing. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Yeah, make sure you check out our sponsors, Ritual Better Help in Factor. Use our promo codes. We thank you guys for watching. Join our Patreon. Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. And until next week, God bless you guys. Y'all have a good one, fam. Bye.